Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's video, we've got a John Deere L120 automatic. Now we're going to do a lot of things on this. We're going to do a carburetor clean, oil change, spark plug change, whole tune up, clean up. I'm talking the whole kit and caboodle. But I think the main problem of why it was here is because he replaced all these spindles here. And they are sitting just fine, but this one right here is locked up. So I've been pre-lubricating it for the last day or two to try to unlock it. And I'm going to have to take it off and clean it up and hopefully we can do that. But I'm going to show you guys how to clean your machines here um, at the moment. I think that's going to be part one, just cleaning it up. I'm going to show you how to do it with just a garden sprayer and some um, some degreaser, any degreaser of your choice. So now when it comes to degreasers, the first thing you want to do is wet the machine. Well, this thing's brand new, so... Just give it a good wetness. You don't have to do nothing fancy. Just wet it down. I bought a brand new garden hose, you know, just to show people that you can do this without a pressure washer. But you see all this oil and stuff here. Real nasty. So just wet it down. Don't worry about too much of anything, you know. You're not going to hurt nothing. I've done this a hundred times. Just give it a good wet. Get under there if you're going to get under there. We're mostly focusing on the engine bay at the moment. So just wet her down, and now, after you wet it down, because with all degreasers, you want to wet it first. And if you guys made it this far in the video, just to let you know, I now have a gaming channel. I know a lot of you guys ain't going to be interested, but if you are... A link to it will be down in the description below. I'm using this super clean foam degreaser. I like foam degreaser, so if you have a foam degreaser, use it. Now you're just going to spray your degreaser all over. On all the points you want to degrease. The foam really helps break up a lot of the grease. Get under there if you need to get under there. But first step, tanning thing is always clean. You don't want to let it sit on the aluminum too long, any degreaser at all. Just make it look like Christmas. It's all that matters. Also, other links in the description if you guys want to get some merch or, you know, just support the channel. You can also just subscribe. That helps too. You don't even have to buy nothing. It's 100% free. Get under there. So yeah, part one, we're just cleaning this bad boy. Part two will probably be carburetor. Part three will be deck. Part four will be, let's see what happens when it's done. So hit that bell notification so you can get notified when I upload any kind of video. I also have a brand new belt I'm going to put on there. So if you have this same John Deere, here's your belt information. I'll try to put a link in the description if I can. But we'll find out. So now we're letting that degreaser sit. So I'll get you guys in about, uh, let's say, five minutes. So it's been about five minutes now. As you can see, most of the white's gone and it should be ready to come up. Just using your $5 um, Walmart nozzle here. Put it on jet mode and we should be able to spray it off. Sorry about the GoPro today. Uh, my tripod died, so this should still be entertaining. See, look at it come right off. You don't need a, a fancy pressure washer. A tighter jet would be nice, though. That's why most people do use the pressure washer. But I'm trying to show you guys, you know, at home, you know, we might need to do two or three runs on this. 
But now we can actually clearly see that oil filter. And we're just giving her a nice bath. See, we're getting the mud out. Just giving her a nice, good old nice bath, making sure we get rid of all that soap. Come around to the other side. Let's see, now this ain't as greasy, so when it comes to changing the oil, we can change the oil now. I might do one or two more runs on it, just to see if I can't break up even more grease. Now with the engine done, I'm gonna come over here to the deck And I'm just going to give this a quick rinse as well. Oh, I kinked my hose. Just don't kink your hose. And you shouldn't have too much problems. I'm going to have to wash under the deck too because it is pretty nasty. Look at that, I just dropped that on the ground and it landed straight up. That's pretty badass. And nothing ever in the world has to be perfectly clean. Like this customer is not gonna care that, you know, it's not 100% clean. And, you know, unless they're actually paying for the cleaning, it's not your job to clean it. So, you know, I'm just trying to get down under with my sprayer up close and personal. And then once this all dries, I'll also come over here with the blower and we'll blow it clean. Sorry if you guys are getting wet there. But I got a GoPro, so it's all good in the hood. See, that just came out. Nasty, nasty. Just get in there. Don't be afraid to get down and dirty, as Mick would say for mixed mowers. If you guys are enjoying this oddly satisfying content here, hit that like button. And also, like I said, don't forget, check out my gaming channel. It's RPG Authority. I'm not at 100 subscribers yet, so I can't tell you a YouTube.com. But um, you guys can help me get to 100 subscribers on that channel. That'd be nice. Um, but there will be a link in the description. looking better already I'm really impressed with myself I'm gonna go ahead and degrease it again and um, I'm gonna switch over to the main camera and we're gonna wrap up this video okay guys it's that easy to clean your equipment without using any kind of fancy pressure washer you didn't even have to use super clean you could have used any kind of degreaser of your choice just make sure you don't leave it on aluminum too long because degreaser is 
it eats up. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this was part one. Hit that notification bell so you can see the next episode where we take off and clean the carburetor. I should have a new tripod by then. So, with without further ado you know the drill if you guys want to see more lawnmower repairs whole playlist right here right under that's what youtube thinks you should watch next over there's my subscribe button and link down in the description to subscribe to my gaming channel thank you guys so much for watching till next time see ya